Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me over on Instagram, girl, for all of the fabulous updates, okay? And come back each week for weekly uploads. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some new in luxury pieces that I've been eyeing, because as you guys know, we're transitioning into like the fall, winter, vibes it's boot season it's time to put out the leather the sweaters all of the things you know but one thing i told myself y'all this year i am allowing myself only 10 new items for my fall winter wardrobe 10 new items so whether you want to buy all of the items from zara or you want to get them all from Saks and Neiman's, i don't care where you want to get them from but you can only buy 10 items and that's because when i was switching over my closet this year i'm pulling out all of these sweaters and they still have tags on them i still have pants with tags on them i still have boots that i've never even wore anywhere so i'm like oh no we're not about to keep every year just buying stuff and you're not wearing it so this year you can buy 10 new items 10 and then no more so far i don't think i purchased i purchased none <laughs> but um yeah i'm only buying 10 items so these are a few pieces that i'm kind of like eyeing because i'm trying to be very strategic and very intentional with these 10 pieces i want pieces that i know i'm going to get my cost for wear pieces i know i'm going to reach for this um season and also next season and seasons and years to come so if you're interested in this video my girl just keep watching now the first item are these pants from alice and olivia i cannot lie y'all right now alice and olivia has some really good fall winter pieces i feel like they have a lot of trendy statement pieces they're trendy but they're also pieces that can stand the test of time in your wardrobe this year i want to get into colored leather now these are like these cobalt blue but what really really like pulled me in is the fact that they are flared legs flared bottoms flared legs girl what flared pant bottoms i'm really feeling the flared little vibe even with denim with jeans with leather i tried on a pair at zara and i was just like in love i feel like right now the flared pants is just in so with these i was like oh my god i have to try these on i'm actually planning to go try these on tomorrow i'm gonna keep you guys updated may take you guys with me but i was able to see if my sacks um had these and they do i want to go try these on to see if they have stretch because even with leather i need some stretch i don't care what you gotta do to put some stretch in them but i need some stretch and i feel like these i would love for them to be high-waisted i would like to wear this with like a high neck turtleneck um all black oh my god this is just this could be a moment throw on a cute little fur vest this could be a moment a moment like this these pants could literally just make a look pop i don't have to do too much and especially in the um fall and winter you're constantly layering so i want pieces if i have on a coat that's covering up everything and all of these sweaters these pants will still be that vibrant piece that just peep out at the bottom oh these are just amazing so i definitely want to um go check these out and if i'm not mistaken i think the price point wasn't too bad next up i have a pair of chloe sneakers now these sneakers come in a variety of colors that's the thing that really made me um kind of like gravitate toward these because they come in in a, like I said, a variety of colors. Each year I allow myself one pair of luxury designer shoes. I only buy one, well, sneakers. I only buy one pair of luxury de designer shoes a year. And I usually try to um, purchase them in the fall, winter because in the summertime, the toes are out. So I don't really need sneakers. But in the um, fall, winter, if I'm not wearing boots or I don't have on mules, what else can I wear? Sneakers. And I feel like with two-piece sets, whether I have on a cute little jogging suit or I have on a um, knit two-piece set, sneakers just look so cute with it and dainty and but i could still have like a sporty look it's like i can dress it up dress it down it doesn't really matter the sneakers look good when you're layering stuff it just gives you like 
just a look and i feel like these um sneakers what i like about them they're still girly they still have a very feminine touch but i want to see them in person because i think these are knitted i heard that they were platforms so i need to see them in person try them on and get the vibe and also I know I'm being a little picky. I may have to go to a Chloe store. I have never seen a Chloe store. But with these shoes, they come in so many different colors. I would like to see each color in person. The color that really pulled me was the, it's like a nudie color. You should be seeing that color on the screen. That's the ones that I'm thinking about purchasing. Because I just feel like with an all gray, all black, it doesn't really matter. These sneakers will look so cute in the fall, especially now. In the fall, it's like when I go on my morning walks. I'm just outside a little bit more. And I'm just enjoying the weather when i don't have on boots i need some sneakers so i'm kind of like dibbling dabbling trying to see what um brand i'm gonna pick some sneakers from this year and if we're being honest the only sneakers that really caught my eye were these next up i have another piece from alice and olivia and it is these red leather vegan shorts oh i believe these come in black too i would literally purchase these in any color I believe they're high-waisted. I love the fact that they have that um, extra fold at the bottom. I think for me, and the fact that I have thighs, it just kind of like gives me, it accentuates my thigh, if that makes any sense. Any shorts I get and they have a little flap, I love it. A fold over, flap, I don't know what you call it. I'm going to say a fo extra fold. I love that. But these shorts, and they're red. For some reason, girl, colored leather, it has me in a chokehold. It literally has me in a chokehold. When I saw this, I saw me in some all black, of course, because what is fall winter without black? Just imagine um, a black, nice, maybe a, even a sheer shirt or a button up, definitely black. It has to be high in the neck. It could be a turtleneck sweater, a turtleneck, um, the chunky sweaters. It doesn't matter long as it's black with some maybe leggings but i need a thigh high boot with this a thigh high boot would just oh set this completely off with a long fur vest oh my god this would be amazing i just feel like i'm looking for things to help pop my black because let me tell you something in the fall winter i'm gonna wear black that's just what it is i enjoy it so so much and i have so much of it this is my time to shine when it comes to all black what i love about wearing black is you can break it up so many different ways usually i break my black up with different textures and patterns or well not patterns different textures or skins or if it's black and if i have on a black sheer top i may pair it with some black leather um pants and if i have black leather pants maybe let's break that up with um i don't know a suede boot just different textures it makes the black look so good and so rich so i'm looking instead of doing all black this year i'm like trying to add some color into the black to kind of like break it up to give me a little bit more pizzazz in my fall winter wardrobe because i feel like i started to get a little bored with it because it was just all black and although i love black i think this year i want to add a little color that's why i've been buying like little fun sweaters just to have like i'm not just wearing black browns neutrals i, I need a little more mm, oomph judge so these shorts definitely on the list of things that I want to try on when I go into sex. Hopefully I can get these and when I do get them, I think I'm going to purchase these in like a 12 and then get them tailored to fit my waist because I would want the waist cinch, but I don't want them to be hugging like my butt or anything. I want them to fit properly. So I'm going to size up and then get them tailored. All right, so next up I have these Prada boots. Now I've been looking for a good maybe over the knee thigh it doesn't matter actually i want two pairs i want a thigh high pair and i want an over the knee pair of all black boots when i saw these i was like huh also another piece i would want to try on what i do like about these they're not as chunky and edgy as the i think it's the prada monolith boot with the um pot patches and stuff that boot was a little too edgy this boot is a little more sleeker it does have one little patch on it i think it can be removed i'm not really sure but i just feel like this boot is a little more sleek a little more my style i can do a little more with this so i'm looking forward to trying this on it doesn't look like it's as high as i would want it to be of course it's not a thigh high but i would like it to be a little more high like at least come up to my knee 
maybe it will because i'm short i'm not really sure but this is definitely something that i have been kind of like eyeing it's not a definite piece but it's definitely something that i'm like hmm I, if I see you, I would want to try you on because I like the fact that it's a little more sleek, but it still has that edge, that little chunky on trend vibe. So, and I believe they they just released these. So, I'm 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 looking for you, girl. Next, I have a bag, and it's by I believe Simone Miller. And this bag, also something that has been on my like radar. I've been seeing it a few times. This is something that I wanted to pick up. It comes in three different colors. It comes in black, it comes in white and lime. This bag is so sleek. It doesn't have any logos. It doesn't have any names or anything on it. I love that. This is something that I feel like, I was thinking about getting it in black because during the fall, winter, of course, like when you go on a dinner and stuff, it's like, I don't want to have to have a super small bag and I don't want to have to have a really big bag. And I am a top handle girl, but I feel like certain looks just look really good when I have like a bag that I can put on my shoulder and it lays like nice against um a look. Let's say if I have on a slip dress with a turtleneck, this is the type of bag that I will pull out. I just feel like it would just give me a little more elegance, a little class, and I love the shape of it. It's just, this bag is bomb. So this is something that I, I also got my eye on. If I like this bag, I feel like this is also a bag that I will want in every color because the price point is pretty, pretty good. And I just feel like it's a bag that I can transition from any season this is something you can wear when it's hot outside this is something you can wear when it's cold outside and also the white i saw the white on somebody on pinterest bomb but it's really that shape i think the shape is the thing that really just got me it just hooked me in and i'm like okay i think i want to give you a try because it's really cute even like what i have on right now i feel like by me having this sweater on with black buttons if i had this bag and just put it on if i have on like nice black pants because black is the vibe. I feel like this bag will look so cute. It's just chic and just simple, no names. I like that. That's, that's what I'm going for lately. Any bags that I've been looking at, I put like bags on pause because I don't want to keep buying bags. And then I'm like, I have no bag to wear when I'm going out. So lately I've kind of been letting my outfits determine what bag that I'm going to buy next. And when I'm getting dressed, I realize I don't have enough neutral colors like browns and blacks. And I don't have enough bags. I don't have any bags like this in my um, wardrobe that's sleek, elegant. I can wear during the daytime or I can bring it out at night. And lately I have been liking shoulder bags, but shoulder bags, not like the big ones that your mama used to wear with all her stuff, like the Duty and Burke bags, like the big ones. Not really that style, more like this, very sleek, very chic. I can just like put it under the arm real dainty and give the girls a look. So yeah, I wanna see this. Now next up I have some pieces that I actually purchased. A lot of you have been asking me, did I get anything from the Target um designer collection you know every year target do a drop with like different designers and this year they had some nice pieces they worked with they collaborated with some nice designers but i i ain't gonna say i wasn't able to i chose not to get anything from the um the collections because if we've been honest i didn't need anything from the collections when i went to look they had a few things that i'm like oh this is cute but i was like i could live without it at the same time ajay aka age age however you pronounce it girl Ajay they released their um resort 23 I believe the name of this sculpture they released that line the same day that Target dropped their collection come on girl y'all know where I went I went over there to Ajay um and I got um two pieces from the resort 23 collection and I could not I could not be more pleased like you don't understand. I understand we're in fall winter, but me, when I see something that I need, I cannot, I cannot let pass up. I have to get it. So I was able to snag the two pieces um, that I wanted. I originally saw the runway show um, back in May. And when I was watching the runway show, I instantly, I, I bought these two pieces and I was like, oh, when y'all drop, I'm going to be on y'all. I have been stalking their website. I have been emailing. I've been all in their comments, their DMs. Hey, when are y'all dropping? And then I actually 
got word that they were dropping in early October. And it was definitely early October. They dropped like, I want to say October 3rd, like second or third. Got an email that the pieces were available, snagged them. The customer service was pretty okay. A little, mm -mm, if we're being honest. One piece that I'm still waiting for, I ordered it October 5th. It's like the end of October. I've been emailing. I have nobody's got has reached out nobody's gotten back to me so that's kind of annoying but these pieces i ordered them and they literally shipped out the same day so that was amazing so it's kind of like uh, uh, the first thing i picked up is the orange fringe dress guys this piece is amazing this piece is amazing. It did retail for $525. And for me, I was like, ah. But when I start looking at other pieces, I'm like, that's pretty cheap for this dress. But when I got it in person, I was like, oh, that is a steal for this dress. This dress is phenomenal. This dress is amazing. This is definitely one of the most gorgeous things I have ever laid my eyes on. It's so pretty. The craftsmanship on this piece is amazing. I love the fact that this piece can literally fit anybody type, whether you're curvy or you're not. The knit that they use, it's it's like literally, it fits you like a glove. As soon as you put it on, it just accentuates and hugs the curves on your body. Oh my God, it is amazing. In the front, it has this high neck. It has shoulder pads. It's very structured. You don't have to wear a bra with it. And I'm a girl who needs to wear a bra, but with this dress, when I tried it on, the fit of it is so close cut to the body that I didn't have to put on a bra. It is amazing. When you turn around to the back, it has this deep scoop back and it has this gold zipper going up the bum. Oh, but... The thing, the thing, the thing about this dress that is sickening, like just literally sickening, y'all, the fringes. It is, it is uh, amazing. This dress, it looked orange, but in person, I would say the dress is orange and the fringe is like a tangerine. This is amazing. This is a piece that I just, I'm like, Jernica, I'm so happy you did not wait. Now, on the IJ website, this dress is sold out, but I believe Bird Off? No, not Bird Off. Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's will be releasing this dress in the next 40 days, I believe they said. Something like that. I'm going to link this down below. I believe Moda Operandi also has this dress. If you can get your hands on this dress, this is a piece that even if you have nowhere to go, I have nowhere to wear this to, but she's gonna come in handy. I promise you that this dress is amazing. And I'm just so happy I have it. I literally have it on my wall. And every time I just look at her, I'm like, girl, when we go out together, it's gonna be a match made in heaven. This is a piece, okay? Stuff like this, lately I've been doing the type of shopping that I want my whole wardrobe to be like archived. I want these my wardrobe to last me. I want to still be wearing my the stuff that I'm wearing like 10 years from now. I want to look at these pieces and was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like I feel like I'm building a collection, building a wardrobe. I don't want to just keep throwing things out. I'm to the point now where I want quality, amazing, runway, archive, just nice fun pieces in my wardrobe so this is something that i know it will never leave the wardrobe ever now next i picked up a top this top y'all oh she's 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 amazing i know i keep saying amazing but this is is just like this brand it just brings me pure joy because the detail that they put in their clothing the craftsmanship that they put in these pieces is just like you did that, girl. I have to give you credit where credit is due. It gets to the point where these pieces, I cannot lie y'all, these pieces, they are not cheap. But once you get a package from them, you open it, you see the quality, you're like, okay, I got it. I have nothing to say about nothing. This is the pleated top. I forgot, I think that's the name, the name, of, the, the name of the top is the pleated crop top. It is just voluminous and it's just like a ball of just goodness like girl the pleats and the ruffles and on the arms they 
is hand stitched into like this flower. What I love about it, they pay so close of attention to the details that it's the top is duplicated. The front matches the back exactly. So when you look at the front, you should be seen on the screen. When you look at the front, it has the ruffles going across the chest. When you get to the arm, it's like this detailing that's made into a flower. But when you turn to the back, the same flower that's on the front is on the back. It's just like you, you, you giving the girls a look, whether I'm facing you or you're looking at me from the back, you're going to see this top. This top is amazing. I absolutely love it. This is something that I'll wear with trousers i wear with shorts i wear with jeans this is something that i know will be in my wardrobe and i can wear it so many different ways in so many different situations yes it's super dressy but this is also a piece that i can dress down if i want to wear with like a skirt and some hermes around sandals this piece girl it is just to die for now this piece is still in um in stock on the website also linked down below girl She's just good. You, you're seeing what I'm seeing. She's super good. So this is something that I had to get. Uh, like I said, I'm one of them people. I shop. If I see something, I don't care what season it is. If I see a nice summer dress in the wintertime, I'm going to get it. If I see a nice coat in the summertime, I'm going to get it. Usually that's when I buy all of my good coats. So. Yeah. All right, girlfriend, so that is all that I have for this video. That was the pieces, the new in luxury fashion pieces that I'm eyeing or I just want to see in person. Maybe I just want to touch you. Maybe I just want to have a conversation with you. I don't know. I just want to see what's going on. But that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you girls in the next one.